<clears throat> well, here's another update on my coming swap. I'm trying to do a lot more of them. Um, I think it's helping a few of you people out. And I freaking like to help people. And even if you're not freaking watching, I mean, you're not showing likes or anything, I don't care. This is just to help. That's what I want to do is help. I'm not saying you have to do what I do exactly. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. You can fucking do it. It's, I mean, it's not, some shit's hard to do. But it's not as bad as you think. It's fucking rewarding as shit. So don't freaking just get your panties in a bunch. If something's fucking hard to do, just fucking do it. Anyways, here's what I got going right now. I got a, this fuel neck out of one of my derby cars, an 83 marquee. And it fucking lines up great. I mean, it's dead center on that. It's got this little curve to it. Goes around that cross member, kicks that back. Where it'll be kind of normal to sit about right in there. Which won't be too damn bad. And I'm gonna order a fuel door off of Amazon that I found. Um, it'll just bolt right in. You have to cut a hole in the side and bolt it in. Which ain't no big deal. I'd rather do that than try and like freaking weld one in the body. Because I'm not a good body man. <laughs> I'll say it right now. I can do all right, but I get, it takes me a long fucking time. I'm gonna just bolting it in sounds way easier. I'm gonna have to build a little uh, pocket in here for that to bolt into. I got this one out of the marquee, but it's way too thick. I just need to make one thinner. If this wasn't made out of plastic, I'd just cut it down and weld it back together. But it's fucking plastic, so. It can die. I don't care. What I got done yesterday was rear end is put together. The 354 gears in it. A big ass heavy duty fucking cover. It's not leaking at all. I've been sitting there for all night. That fucking, uh, I used a, I don't remember the fucking brand. Oh, Lube Blocker. Loop blocker gasket on it because I don't want to use silicone. I like that idea of being able to use a gasket, especially one that don't leak. Oh, son of a bitch! Well, I might have to cut this short. My phone's saying "fuck you" 14%. But we'll go till she stops. I don't care. I ended up on the pinion. I made a homemade thread chaser out of a 7 8 by 14 nut. Just just take the nut, put it in the vise. You put a hacksaw blade in it and you cut threads side or just back and forth. Is that in about four or five spots? Just run it on there and it'll clean the fucking threads out. It's pretty badass. Two dollar fucking thread chaser, but it'll do fine. Today I'm just being kind of lazy with it. I'm gonna order a bunch of parts. Cause I'm sick of waiting for parts. I just want a big ass order of them. So I can just kick this bitch out. I'm getting sick of working on it sometimes. Mostly getting sick of waiting for parts. Working on it's not bad. But yeah, she's getting somewhere. Tiny fucking intercooler. I hope she cools her down good. Still waiting for injectors, or what I'm gonna do with injectors. I'm not fucking sure what I'm gonna do yet. Fucking got that rear one, I think, sticking. She's just dumping raw fucking fuel out the exhaust. I think I got one stuck open. But, ordered injectors. This is a non intercooled engine. I think I've said that before. So, that's the 9mm injectors. The ones I ordered were sevens with the sleeve. I've heard, I've don't hold me to it, the nine mils themselves are like stage three seven millimeters. They dump more fuel in them to keep them cooler because they don't come with an intercooler. So, I'm debating on just fucking saying fuck those seven mils, not put them in, and just Rip these out and pray to God that they're not sevens too with sleeves. 
just get them rebuilt or fucking learn how to rebuild them. They can't be that fucking hard. Well, yeah, I think that's about all I got for this update.